The second stage procedure is sometimes done on the same day of surgery, but sometimes it's done a few days or even a few weeks later. This involves a general anaesthetic, so the patient's asleep for the procedure. It involves taking the ends of the electrodes that we've previously implanted in the brain and connecting them to extension wires, which pass beneath the skin, over the collarbone, and usually to the chest. We then plug those extension leads into an implantable pulse generator or a battery. There are generally two types of batteries that we use. There are rechargeable batteries and non-rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries have the advantage of lasting a lot longer, usually at least nine or 10 years. The downside to the rechargeable batteries is that the patient will need to recharge them on a regular basis. This might be every few days, but occasionally it's every week or two. The recharging process is not particularly onerous and often it can be done whilst watching television or reading a book, but it has to be done in order to keep some energy in the battery. With the non-rechargeable batteries, the maintenance is very low. The patient can essentially forget about the battery, doesn't have to worry about recharging it, but the downside is that the battery will run out, sometimes after a couple of years, sometimes after four or five years. When the battery runs out, they need to come back for another operation, which is a smaller operation, to replace that battery. Mm -hmm.